just got through uh, baggage claims or baggage or check-in or TSA. So we just got through TSA and we're at the uh, Charleston Airport getting ready to go to Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. So that's where we're heading out to today. So I'm heading to the gate before and about to board this flight. It's about a 12 hour flight to Rio. So I just arrived in Miami and I uh, got about a four hour layover for the flight to uh, Rio de Janeiro. So uh, here I am, kind of an outdoor uh, terminal, running off the plane, walking to uh, the gate. But here you can see, there's the plane. Set up here, yeah, pretty interesting, yeah. So, anyway, heading into the gate, four hours, and then I'm on my way to Rio. So, I just did my Good Samaritan deed of the day. A couple of uh, Cuban guys who don't speak English who are bound to go to Cancun just asked me for directions here in the Miami airport which I don't have a clue but somehow I managed to find their gate they had 10 minutes to spare we're down here on gate 27 and they had to go down to gate number D2 so they had a long run to go but I think they're going to make their flight so good Samaritan day uh, job of the day <laughs> Just uh, landed in Rio, and uh, this flight was packed. So much for social distancing. Check this out. Yeah, social distancing. So, social distancing. <laughs> so I just got through immigration. I'm literally the last dude through there. They had to double check everything of mine. Crazy. Cool. All right, so I just got here to Rio. And I've got the ride here, right? Let me see the, the sign. Show the sign. Show the sign. Keep yeah, keep clock. Well spelled. Good job. <laughs> nice. He doesn't speak any English or Spanish. Just Portuguese, right? Uh, and then you can After getting off the plane and now taking a car ride through the mountains, we've now stopped here on the side of the road. Check this out. We're in the middle. This is the Amazon jungle right here. This is jungle. There was some crazy looking blue bird flying away up there but he's too far to get a shot of but he's like all blue feathers it was bizarre so behind me you can see this valley over here and this is all amazon jungle right in here kind of see it from here Obrigado. Valeu, obrigado, amigão. Yeah, yeah, Valeu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Qualquer coisinha yeah. na volta, se precisar, uh -huh. para ir okay. a gente tão obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. Vamos fazer um flechinho melhor ainda, falou, amigão?
<laughs> Kidding around, look at this shit. <laughs> no, it wasn't. This is amazing. Look at this place. Oh man, this is like an Hi. eco vacation right here. Holy cow, you got a little tree deck over there. And who's this dude? This is Zulu. Zulu! Zulu, that's cute. Zulu. In the compound, look at this place, man. It's just truly, truly cool. I'm just surrounded by jungle. Surrounded by the jungle. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there a river down there? Yeah. Oh man, that's amazing. Look at that. Oh man. Alright, so as you can see, we're having a full-on tropical storm now. It's like a complete different day. When I got here, the sun was shining, and now it's a full-on deluge going on here. Need I say more? <laughs> During the storm, a giant tree fell down somewhere on this property, and uh, the gentleman that helps take care of the grounds here just showed up, and we're going to go explore and check it out. Did this just happen just now? This just happened now. Did it hit the house? No, it just hit. It's a miracle. It was there and it was huge. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it now. Holy shit. Is this, oh, so it fell this way. Yeah, but it didn't hit the... Oh, it didn't do a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Just a, I think it's just a little damage on the edge there, huh? It didn't get like, uh... It didn't hurt the beams, did it? Oh, but it broke my bridge. Oh, Right, right. I was like, okay, let's just see what happens, you know. And I thought a branch might fall. Or right, something. right. The whole motherfucker crashed. But it didn't. It didn't really bust up too much of the support beams, right? Uh, a little bit that one. We got a couple of beams there that are cracked. We're gonna have to change those. And it broke. There's wooden railing here. This wooden link snapped, and it did a little bit of damage. Jesus Christ! Did it hit that roof too? Yeah, yeah a little bit. so it's almost the end of day one and we had uh, a big rainstorm come through 
and now the sun's back out or the sky's clear again and it's a beautiful evening I got some great still shots of the area and um, but like it's like a whole nother day right we had a tree fall down day one right kind of took out a little bit of his roof on that side of the house and his bamboo shop so uh, not major damage just small damage cosmetic mostly but uh, yeah I got some great evening shots out here so just absolutely spectacular and it's only the first day